let's have a quick look here at how we can copy an entire quiz. So I'm looking at my exciting quiz uh, just here. And if I go right up to the top right hand corner, it says more form actions. So clicking on there gives me three options. Uh, the one obviously we're interested in is copy. Delete means that you delete it and you can lose it forever. So you obviously need to be careful of that one. Move allows you to move it to Teams, I think, or other areas on SharePoint, but I'm not gonna focus on that just for now. If we look at copy, it's really straightforward. Uh, we've got existing quiz there. And then when we go to copy, it automatically uh, makes a copy and puts another number there. So in this case, it's number two. And if you keep doing that, number three, etc. So what I would recommend you do is then you go into existing quiz two, the one that you've copied, pop in there and you'll see on the title, the two's there as well. So it might be sensible just to uh, change that or indeed perhaps you might want to change the name. And the reasons why you perhaps might want to copy a quiz, I suppose, is that it may be that you're teaching uh, more than one group and you want to have uh, the quiz pushed out to both the different groups and you get different responses, etc. That may be one way of doing uh, doing it. You might want to do another way, I guess, it might be that you want to differentiate slight, slightly, have a, a main body with a similar sort of questions and then change some of the questions depending who you're sending that to. So there are obvious reasons why you might want to, to copy your quiz. And that's it, really straightforward.